our big story tonight at five. A person of interest is now an accused killer. 33 year old Maxwell Anderson is charged in the death of 19 year old Shadi Robinson. Fox 6's Durante Matthews was in the courtroom today and joins us live now to break down what happened. And Brian and Steph, it was a really difficult experience for Shade Robinson's family today, having to sit there in the courtroom and listen to all the gruesome details surrounding her death. And now that they say that Anderson is charged, they now want a conviction. This sick son of a is gonna pay. Barely speaking above a whisper. This is justice for Shade. And fighting back tears. Who the f would do something like this to my beautiful baby? Sheena Scarborough. She hurt nobody. Was pushing forward for her daughter, 19 year old Shade Robinson. Friday, Robinson's family sat in court and heard the grim details surrounding her death while staring at the man accused of taking her life, 33 year old Maxwell Anderson. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it was the highest level of violence imaginable. Prosecutors say Anderson and Robinson were going on a date Monday evening on April 1st. The state says they went back to Anderson's Southside apartment around 9 o'clock, where they say he killed her between then and early Tuesday morning. They say he then dismembered her body and scattered pieces around the county. The defendant did a tremendous amount of work to try to cover up the crime, including lighting Miss Robinson's vehicle on fire. Last week, police found and connected a severed human leg in Cudahy and a foot in Milwaukee to Robinson. After text messages and witness statements linked the two together, Anderson was arrested April 4th during a traffic stop. He's now charged with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson. Sade was more than a person. She was an angel. Not having her right now is very painful. Family says the entire timeline has them shaken. Imagine trying to bury your niece with no body for the service. I need justice for Sade. And they want the person responsible to pay. And Anderson's attorney also tried to get that first degree intentional homicide charge dismissed, saying there wasn't enough evidence to prove it, but that was dismissed. And he's in jail tonight on a $5 million cash bond. That is, his attorney also tried to get reduced to $500,000, and that request was also dismissed. He's due back in court April 22nd. Live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Durante Matthews, Fox 6 News. All right, Durante, thank you for that. The top cops from both the City of Milwaukee Police Department and the County Sheriff's Office say it took a lot of cooperation from multiple agencies to work on this investigation. More than a dozen agencies, local, state, and federal, are all working on this investigation. Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball and Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman both spoke today. They both offered their condolences to the family of Robinson, and they said they are working to get justice for them. At this time, we don't believe that there are any other victims out there and that the person who uh, is responsible for this heinous crime has been arrested.